So electrochemistry is an important in other less obvious ways. For example, the corrosion of iron, which has tremendous economic implication, and it is an electrochemical process. In addition, many important industrial materials such as aluminum, chlorine, and sodium hydroxide are prepared by electrolytic processes. In, al in analytical chemistry, electrochemical techniques employ electrodes that are specific for a given molecule or ion, such as hydrogen plus, which is for pH meters, chlorine or chlorine, and many others. These increasingly important methods are used to analyze for trace pollutants in natural waters or for the tiny quantities of chemicals in the human blood that may signal the development of a specific disease. So electrochemistry is best defined as the study of the interchange of chemical and electrical energy. It is primarily concerned with two processes, the involvement of oxidation and reduction reactions. It is the generation of an electric current from a chemical reaction and the opposite process, which is the use of current to produce a chemical change. So we have here a redox, what we call redox, which is reduction oxidation reaction. It involves a transfer of electrons between two species. So we can differentiate a reduction to oxidation based on the table shown. Reduction is a process which occurs when species gains electrons it decreases its oxidation number. The electrons are in the reactant side. The ion or molecule that accepts the electrons is called oxidizing agent, and reduction occurs at the cathode. While oxidation, it uh, usually occurs when speci species loses electrons. It, it increases oxidation number. The electrons are in the product side, the ion or molecule that donates the electrons is called reducing agent, and it is usually occurs at the anode of a uh, set. Okay, so we have here a technique. So we have here Jeroa and Leora, gain electron reduction oxidizing agent. Again, gain electron reduction oxidizing agent. While this one is lose electron oxidation reducing agent. Again, lose of electrons oxidation reducing agent. So you just need to memorize Jeroa and Leora. So we should first try to review uh, on how to assign oxidation. Okay, so we have here an example, carbon dioxide. Okay, and from the rules on assigning oxidation states based on number five, oxygen is negative two on or in most of its compounds, ex except in cases like peroxide, okay, where it is negative 1. So, from this compound, alam na natin ang oxidation state ng oxygen. Ang hindi lang natin alam ay oxidation state ng carbon. So, let x equals oxidation uh, number of carbon. So, itong carbon dioxide, wala naman siyang charge. Wala tayong nakikita ang charge. So, zero. So, ilang oxygen? Dalawa. Times, anong oxidation state niya? Negative two. Plus, ilang carbon? Isa. Oxidation state? X. So, 
and therefore negative 4 plus x. So therefore, ang oxidation state ng carbon ay 4. Alright, so we have here another example. We have here sulfur hexafluoride. So based on the rules on assigning oxidation states or numbers, number 3. So we have here fluorine is always negative 1 in its compound. So fluorine is negative 1. And as we can see, sulfur has hexafluoride has no charge so and so alam na natin ang charge ng oxidation state or number ng fluorine so ano na lang ang oxidation number or state ng sulfur and wala tayong nakikita ang charge nitong compound so 0 is equal to 6 fluorine fluoride times negative 1 plus ilan ang sulfur 1 times x, which is the oxidation number of sulfur. So we have 0, negative 6, plus 1. So x is equal to 6x. So x is equal to 6. There. Okay, another example. We have here nitrate. N O three negative. So again we all know that oxygen is negative two. Okay, so an ano na lang ang oxygen uh, oxidation state ng nitrogen. So let let us as, let us assign X as oxidation number of nitrogen. Okay, so makikita natin may charge sa negative 1, isa. So negative 1 is equal to tatlong oxygen times negative 2 charge plus ilang nitrogen, isa times oxidation state ng nitrogen. So negative 1, negative 6 plus x. So x is equal to 5. So, therefore, 5 is the oxidation state or number of nitrogen. Okay, we have one last example. We have here potassium permanganate. So we have here oxygen, again, is equal to negative 2. Diba? And what is K? And according to uh, number 2, rule number 2, all simple monatomic ions have oxidation numbers equal to their charges. Example, uh, group 1A ions are uh, plus 1. Uh, group 2A ions are plus 2. All the, follow all the following ions have oxidation numbers given, given by their uh, charges. So we have here uh, potassium. And potassium is located in the periodic table. It is located on group 1A. So therefore, therefore, it has positive 1. So, alam na natin ang K, alam na natin ang oxygen. So, what do we need to to compute is for the oxidation state of manganese. So, wala siyang charge. So, 0. Ilan ang K? Isa. Times charge, 1. Plus, ilan ang MN? Isa. Times charge niya plus the number 4 uh, oxygen 4 times negative 2 so 0 1 plus x plus negative 8 so x is equal to 7 
So, therefore, oxidation state ng manganese ay 7. Okay, so we may now move on to uh, balancing uh, redox equations.